SCP-173. What can we say about it? Well, one, I think most people, regardless of their opinions on the content of the wiki today, would probably agree that 173 is not a very well-written article, which is fine. It was written in 2007, uh, specifically June 22nd, 2007, um, as a post on 4chan, and that's it. And it was picked up and copied and pasted. It was a, it was a copy pasta. It was copied and pasted over and over and over again, and eventually found its way about a year later without the original author's really approval or permission at the time uh, on the SCP wiki itself, um, at least as far as I know. Uh, the original author didn't really get involved or understand what was going on until much later. Um, at the very least, when it was being passed around, he may have learned about it when the wiki went up. But when it was being passed around in that between time, it basically was just a forgotten thing that he had posted once and then disappeared. Uh, the image used in the original post is from a piece of um, art, a sculpture specifically, uh, by Izumi Kato. I could be pronouncing his name wrong. I always, I think I'm, I, I sometimes get corrected in comments whenever I use this name. Um, called 2000 untitled 2004 which means obviously it was an untitled piece that was created in 2004 um well not necessarily but in this particular case it seems to be true so what we have is posted to the wiki essentially without the knowledge of the original author a piece that's not very good uh that's based around an image that was taken from uh, literally stolen from an artist and which the core concept is based around a Doctor Who episode and people are like oh, a, you don't know that it was based around the Doctor Who episode and a lot of people will set a lot of people on the wiki who were around around that time even though it was 14 years ago almost a decade and a half now um, <laughs> will will say that oh no it, it came first I'm pretty sure I saw it on 4chan um, uh, several months before the Weeping Angels came out no the the there's a there's a new there's a catalog of posts from I think it's 2006 2008 from 4chan that's basically every post that was put up uh, as an archive and you can search it and the earliest version of SCP-173 is June 22nd so again you have something where the concept isn't original it's not particularly well written it uses a stolen image and the core text was just taken lifted and put onto the scp wiki essentially originally i should say originally because the author came back later and gave permission but originally without the author's knowledge even so despite this fact it's considered a sacred cow amongst scp wiki aficionados and i have strong opinions about 173 not necessarily about the quality of it there are bad articles in this in series one that are quite popular and you know what that's fine the problem i have with it is the is the is the amount of stealing going on in its origination and it's moving to the scp wiki honestly there's not a whole lot that can be done about that i mean let's just say late 2000s attitudes towards intellectual property were not nearly as evolved as they are now uh and you'll still find you know, plenty of people will be like well it's on the internet doesn't that mean it's free um despite the fact that literally anyone can post anything on the internet uh, including somebody else's stuff which is exactly what happened here by the way twice um but the scp wiki in recent times mostly because i think there is a certain amount of well, first of all, it's sort of a moral issue. When people post stuff to the wiki that's stolen, that's and you allow it to continue and become popular, that's on you at that point, especially when you do have some level of curation available to you, or I should say curation tools available to you, and that's just deleting the content off of the wiki, which is a thing that they do. Which, by the way, safe harbor provisions for um, online, like when you become a curator of content, you start to lose some of your protections against copyright, uh, claims against you for other people posting stuff on your site if you specifically curate that content 
for other reasons. Because if you can curate it for quality or theft or any other number of reasons, then you could conceivably also curate it for copyright, which is another reason why modern SCPs and SCP content, I would think anyway, um, do a very do a lot to ensure that content put up on the SCP wiki isn't stolen. However, SCP-173 again is treated as though it's an exception to these rules. The content itself is heavily borrowing from a Doctor Who episode and the article's image, which the rest of the art, the only original parts of it is the statue, which isn't original, right? The idea of a statue that moves when you, the, the concept is a statue that moves when you don't look at it, stolen from Doctor Who. The uh, execution of that is this st particular statue and it, you know, does this and it moves around. And even the setting of the image allows for some of the uh, anomalous abilities of SCP-173, where the ground underneath it is going to be filling with uh, blood and feces, which makes it hard to clean and, and in invokes a lot of other story opportunities. But even that is taken from the photograph, which wasn't the author's in the first place. Everything, except, like just the only thing about SCP-173 that isn't stolen and still isn't particularly original is the concept of the SCP Foundation itself. The idea that there is some organization, and this is the 173rd item that they have contained, that developed the entire SCP wiki from it. And without SCP-173, I'm not, I'm going to say this very clearly, without SCP-173, the SCP wiki would not exist. So I am thankful in that respect that it is a thing because, I mean, this is what I do, right? And I've written for the SCP wiki quite a lot. Um, you know, a hundred and almost, a, almost 120 articles later and I'm like, okay, yeah, obviously I'm invested in this, but the original article does not need to remain on the SCP wiki itself in order for that to remain true. And that's where we come down to the idea of what would happen if you just delete. First of all, let's, t let's take a look at it from a step-by-step -step basis. What if you just deleted the image out of SCP-173? Would the article be substantively worse? And I think the answer to that is pretty clearly no, because the article is so bad in the first place that it can't get much worse. <laughs> Secondly, if you just deleted the whole thing off of the wiki and took all this uh, equivocating about whether or not the content is stolen or not and pretending that it, the uh, forget the image for a second, which is clearly stolen and there's actually licensing information uh, on the page itself to, to define it. But if we go back to the actual content itself, the staff pretending that it wasn't stolen from Doctor Who as a concept, which isn't a problem, by the way. A statue that moves when you're not looking at it isn't a huge deal. Like, it's just not very original. Let's put it that way. But it is... Hmm, what's the best way to put this? It is very troubling when people see that who are in power on the SCP Wiki as staff and say to themselves, yeah, but our idea predates that. Just to make themselves feel a little bit better about the concept. Not everyone does it, but plenty of people do. I have talked to full-on staff members, administrators currently, who still will hold to the idea that uh, SCP-173 was posted to 4chan before the Weeping Angels episode came out. Despite the fact that there is absolutely no proof of that, and every single shred of evidence points to June 22nd, which is two and a half weeks after that episode released, June 22nd being the time that this article went up first. I don't mind it, but I'm just saying that maybe people need to be a little bit more honest with themselves. Now, with all of that said, if you remove the article from the wiki, the SCP wiki isn't going to fall. It's not It's not like an ocean and a plug that you pull out and suddenly the ocean goes away. The ocean's going to remain regardless. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. The SCP wiki would survive the deletion of, of SCP-173 
And I think, I'm not entirely sure I would advocate for its deletion, but I think it's a reasonable thing to think about. Does the SCP Wiki want to continue, and this is there's a legal uh, angle to this too, want to continue to have to worry, and they do have to worry, about someone out there using SCP-173 in a commercial work that becomes very popular and the creator of it is litigious enough and has the money to back that up to take them to court over it. Because if they do, they really don't have much standing to actually protect the work. They act like they do. They file takedowns for SCP-173 images, by the way. But they're not truly empowered by Izumi Kato to do that. They're just doing it because they know if they don't, Izumi Kato may withdraw his permission, which he could do at any time. I think the better solution is to just cut your losses and delete the article and just continue on. The SCP Wiki is going to remain. It's fine. <laughs> Hold on to the concept. Get rid of the rest of the stuff and acknowledge it. Don't forget about it, by the way. Acknowledge where we came from. But you don't have to keep it up on the wiki and keep that liability in place for forever. It's silly that they do it, to be honest with you. But uh, I don't think I'm going to change any minds by saying that out loud. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian like everybody here on the screen already has. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday. Almost forgot what day it was. <laughs>